Hello to you all. Welcome to Roma Broadcasting Network News, and I'm Thomas Kamulat. Head of Opidio Central Office with the rank of Vice President of the Region, Dr. Abi Ahmed, called on Oromo people to follow paths of unity. Let us read the detail. Head of the Opidio Central Office with the rank of Vice Regional President Dr. Abi Ahmed has briefed the Oromia Broadcasting Network regarding the current situation in the region. Hating and discriminating nations, nationalities and peoples in our region never reflect the traits of Oromo people. It is not the culture of the Oromo people. The world society have to be aware of the Oromo people as it is the unique people that accommodate other nations through providing them what it does in its bucket. Dr. Abi said Oromo people have a unique culture that even led other nations to live in the region. Dr. Abi reiterated that the Oromo people become larger and larger due to their unique culture. Our culture has helped us to live with other nations in peace. We need to hold and forward our special and unique tradition that have contributed to be a large population in East Africa. Dr. Abi said poverty is the enemy of unity. Where the prevalence of poverty, it is difficult to think about the unity. Therefore, any Oromo should never destroy any property we have in scars. The Oromo youth should never participate in any action that is against the identity of Oromos. They should safeguard and keep the better image of Oromo and Oromia regional state. Bukala Garbo and other Oromo Federalist Congress leaders expressed their pleasure after they released from jail. Here is their message. I have great gratitude for our people. It brought great pleasure for all of us. What happened today is success of our people's struggle in the country and abroad for our physical freedom. Everyone contributed in the struggle. And I'm very happy. I love you all. I would like to thank all my people. Thanks to God for protecting us till today. Today is my greatest day in my life. I'm very happy for our people's victory in the struggle. Thanks to all contributors. I would like to thank Oromo people who sacrificed for our freedom. I have realized that every united people would reach anywhere. This is one achievement. Another victory will come one day. I praise God for our people's struggle success. I have great pleasure. So we live for our people by our people. We are I'm in a complex emotion. For this great day comes after many sacrifices. So I am sad that they passed away before sharing such unity and victory time together. On the other hand, I would like to thank our people for struggling for truth and to bring such great day. We are still on the way, not on the final success, so we have to keep going together. Yeah, actually, Bakalik was warmly welcomed here in Adama yesterday night to the either news item. The Euromi Urban Development Housing Bureau disclosed that it is intensifying women participation in realizing clean and comfortable urban development environments. The Bureau discussed West, West to Free Urban issue in order to aware people along with women and the March 8th celebration. Here is Lata Teresa. The Oromia Urban Development and Housing Bureau said it is undertaking work to raise public awareness on waste and rubbish materials disposal. The Bureau has also been intensifying efforts to hold urban sanitation campaign in line with the 14th second round International Women's Day, March 8, to be celebrated in the country. Deputy Head of the Bureau, Ahmed Abagisa, had to say the following regarding the selection of the day for the campaign. <laughs> We can create jobs for women and people in need. On the other hand, when the issue of waste is raised, we can raise the issue of health. Health issue is likely related with children. Mothers play a vital role in taking care of children, especially when they get ill. That is why we decide that the campaign to be on March 8th. 
Ahmed said Garbage is becoming a source of income and creating job opportunity. He added that the program would be sustained. The sanitation activity is not only undertaken on the campaign. Everybody has to make it culture. They have to keep it away 20 meters from their home and 50 meters from their shops and other business areas respectively. According to Obinis Mustafa Shemu, on the day celebration, there would be programs of HIV testing, blood donation, breast and womb cancer examination and awareness creation, as well as supporting the Oromos who have been displaced from Ethiopia and Somali region. Ethiopian Religious Institution Council told that it has been working on migration, returning social status. The council discussed ways of supporting migration returnees with stakeholders in Adama town. Muktar Jasmur. The Ethiopia's Religious Council has discussed with international labor organization concerned ways of decreasing discrimination and psychological problems that face different diasporas after returning home. The participants were mainly drawn from RCA and Jima zone of Oromi regional states. The participants have played that they would contribute their labor best to overcome the problems. Based on the support by international labor organization, we have been supporting the diasporas at home. We have been awarding the society in collaboration with religious fathers. The religious fathers have said they have been supporting diasporas to reduce the problems. We have been supporting the diasporas after they return home to make them independent economically and psychologically. Head of the Ethiopia's Religious Council program, Johannes Hume said, social and religious institution coordination is vital to avoid problems related to diasporas. Oh, no more. There is bad attitude toward diasporas at home. Particularly, this problem has been observing in RC, with RC and Jema loans. Religious fathers and community should work together to avoid the problem. Well, that's all for now. Many thanks for joining us. Enjoy watching Open.